Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new up in this place, my name is Ndwani Ngomani. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on this video yet again. Um, thank you guys so much for your engagement on YouTube, on Instagram. You guys are amazing. Um, I love how you engage with my content. I love how you engage with, you know, like stuff I have to say and all of that. So thank you so much to everyone. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow me. Um, I do share a bit of updates there and I'm planning on bringing in more content in terms of IG, um, TV. So yeah, follow me and just see where that is going. Anyway, um, I want to get on to today's video because <laughs> I think today's video is something we talk about but don't really talk about um and you know if you know someone who's in audit or you know someone who has um been in audit before they will tell you how you know it's not a number one choice that they stay in audit they will always try we will always i say we because i'm also part of the training group right we will always try to find another kind of job that we can do after articles than stay in order. I've actually had people say I'd rather be unemployed or people say I'd rather die than be in audit or stay in audit. So it must be pretty hectic, right? But I just want to put a disclaimer that I'm not speaking on behalf of any audit firm. I am not speaking on behalf of any company or, you know, a specific entity. I am just here to share my experience from um, what I've seen, what I've heard from my mates also who are in audit, my mates who have left audit, and yeah, that's that's just what it is. Anyway, let's get on to today's video. So the first thing, um, the first reason why I think trainees don't want to stay in audit is the long hours. It is no secret that in audit we actually work extremely long hours. I don't know if there is any other profession out there that does like really, really long hours like we do. Especially when you're still a trainee, <laughs> you work the most longest hours. Um, this mainly happens during busy season. So basically busy season is when um, year end of companies have occurred and then we now go in and start auditing them and then they need to report within a certain time frame after their year end, right? So our busy season is normally during January, February, and March, and that's why we work extremely long hours, guys. If you know anyone in audit or you are in audit, you know what I'm talking about. We work like really, really long hours, including Saturdays, Sundays, holidays. Uh, basically, you could work Sunday to Sunday, <laughs> 8 to midnight, you know, consecutively. So the really long hours just a turn off for a lot of us because we're young men we want to live we want to go out there and do things and if you're working you know day night there's just no chance for you to to do other things that you really love so i think after three years we're all just fed up with that and we just believe that you know the grass is greener on the other side even though we don't know if it is greener but i think a lot of us just generally don't want this to be our lives you know you don't want to work monday to sunday um all day every day at night and just go home for like a two hour nap and then you have to get up in the morning and do it all over again so long hours are definitely a turn off for trainees and that's the main reason why we don't want to stay second thing is work-life balance or maybe let me say the lack of work-life balance just like I said with the hours, I mean, we're young, you know, um, we're creatives, if you're a creative, or we have other interests that we want to explore, especially now that we're so young, you know. So we need that flexibility in terms of our work to be able to, you know, like, go out and see other things in life. So when you're in audit and you're working the long hours, there's really no chance for you to, you know, squeeze in stuff that really make you feel alive. So there's like limited time to go see family. Obviously, we do have leave, but during busy season, try to get leave. It's, it's a nightmare. You will probably not get leave during busy season because they just need all hands on deck. And I just feel like that is a turn off for trainees that after the end of three years, you're just like, I don't want this life, you know. So yeah there's no work-life balance guys <laughs> um it does get better though when after busy season because now things settle down and then people start taking leave that's when you can also take leave a little bit and but at the end of the day it's still ordered 
um after one deadline there's gonna be another there's gonna be another so audit is basically a continuous deadline that you just keep chasing and keep chasing and keep chasing so after three years we're all just like no my guy third thing is the work environment and yo guys i can go on and on about audit work environment and if you are in audit you know exactly what i'm talking about if you know someone in audit you know what this is they probably complained about it like the work environment in audit is just so toxic and i'm not saying that there are no work environments where um it's completely fine there are some clients and some managers that are really really nice people they really enjoy what they do so you know they create an environment where you you where you feel nourished where you feel um more you feel like you can be yourself and you feel like you can really perform but there are those audit environments and managers where you just you just want to leave <laughs> like you start the first day and you just keep looking at the planning and you're like oh my gosh when does the client end because the work environment is really, really toxic and it's very common in audit. And I think it really messes with our mental health, guys. Like toxic audit environments just messes with our mental health, especially where you're chasing a deadline and the manager's on your back and they're not appreciative of what you're doing. And it's just one deadline after the next deadline, after the next overtime, they're just asking you for another overtime. After you work on a Sunday, they're asking you to work Monday late night. They're asking you to work late the whole week and still work the whole day on a Sunday. It's just toxic. Like, yo, I could go on. But yeah, work environment, toxic work environment is the reason why we tend to leave audit. The fact that it's simply because, you know, trainees just don't enjoy the work. And I've, I've seen this for myself as well, personally speaking. There have been times where in my three years of training that I actually didn't enjoy what I do. Um, and it's probably because of the repetitive nature of audit. Um, if you are in audit, you know how it's very repetitive. You do the same thing um, from one time to the next. If you're testing revenue, you're going to test it exactly the same way. You're going to test exactly the same risk. You're going to do exactly the same procedures. The only thing different is that you would have moved from one client to the next. So it's very repetitive in its nature. And, you know, it just gets boring sometimes. So I think that's another thing because people tend to need a challenge. People tend to need something that will keep them thinking. There's little space for that in audit, honestly. And I think that brings me to my last point that there is just a lack of creativity in audit because of how we just tend to follow standards. We just tend to follow the efforts. We follow how all the, the procedures that, you know, um, the firm wants us to do or the ISIS want us to do. So there's little room for you to be creative, um, to say, huh, this is the risk. How can I approach this? Um, you normally don't have that space to be creative with your procedures or to be creative with the way you want to do the work. You just have to follow what has been done last year or you follow whatever it is that your firm procedures are. So I think those are my top five things that makes trainees not stay in audit. Definitely the long hours the lack of work-life balance and the toxic environment is definitely top three for me um not to say that you don't find people who stay in audit there are people who stay in order there are people who you know throughout their training contract will say i will never stay in audit but in the end of the day they actually do stay and for me i like to believe that it's circumstantial honestly um i, I don't know but i'd like to believe that you know circumstances change and you think I'm going to have a lot of opportunities and then sometimes you don't get those opportunities and um you have no other option than to stay um while some people actually do really enjoy auditing and you really find people who really love this thing you know and it's not a bad thing like if you really really love it then stay there's no reason for you to leave something that you love because majority of the people don't like it you know um I know one or two people who were um, academic trainees in their first years 
um, of articles, they joined auditing and they fell in love with it and they stayed to become managers, senior managers, um, ADs. So there are people who actually just have a passion for this thing and they really have a passion for coaching, for teaching trainees and whatnot. And those people tend to flourish in that environment. But for the most of us, I think it's generally because we don't enjoy the job. And the environment just doesn't cultivate that culture to really enjoy what you do and to feel nourished and whatnot. So a lot of us tend to leave and look for greener pastures because at the end of the day, life is more than just work. You don't want to work, 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 and then you wake up, you're 45, and you haven't done all the things that you want to do, right? So that's why I also believe that balancing a good career with actually a good life is a thing for me. I want to get to a point where I am growing my career, but I also want to get to a point where I'm living um, and I feel like I'm living, you know, to the best of my ability. Um, also taking into account that I also need to grow my career and feel fulfilled in that career. You know what I mean? So yeah, those were my five, um, I wanted to say tips, but <laughs> those are my five reasons why trainees do not stay in audit and feel free to add more if you think i left out some things obviously those are just five things there could be a number of reasons why people don't stay in audit otherwise i will see you guys in my next video i hope you enjoyed this one please do drop a comment and add anything else that you want to add and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye